Now, are you familiar with the concept of proportionality? You could take that down, please. Yes, I am. Can you please explain the concept of proportionality as it relates to the use of force to the jury? Yes, so proportionality basically means that an officer is only allowed to use a level of force that's proportional to the seriousness of the crime or the level of resistance that a uh, subject is, is, is using towards the officers. Sir, do you have an opinion to a degree of reasonable and professional certainty to how much force was reasonable for the defendant to use on Mr. Floyd after Mr. Floyd was handcuffed, placed in the prone position, and not resisting? Yes. And what my, is that opinion? My opinion was that uh, no force should have been used once uh, he was in that position. Cameras can't, they don't have a, a feeling or a sensation, right? No. You can't. You can't determine what someone, the, the tension in their body, right, based on a camera? Specifically, are you if someone to... is If someone is struggling, right, and you've got them handcuffed, they can still be tense, but not really look very tense, right? Uh, I would disagree with that. Okay. So the camera would be able to pick up whether someone is having a, a particular sensory experience? Yes, uh, it, it can. Okay. Gun violence in this country is an epidemic. Let me say it again. Gun violence in this country is an epidemic, and it's an international embarrassment. Every day in this country, 316 people are shot every single day. 106 of them die every day. Today, I asked the Justice Department to publish a model red flag legislation so states can start crafting their own laws right now. Just like with background checks, the vast majority of the Americans support these ex extreme risk protection order laws. And it's time to put these laws on the books and protect even more people. Whether Congress acts or not, I'm going to use all the resources at my disposal as president to keep the American people safe from gun violence. But there's much more that Congress can do to help that effort. And they can do it right now. They've offered plenty of thoughts and prayers, members of Congress, but they passed not a single new federal law to reduce gun violence. Enough prayers. Time for some action.